This is a HMH2 tube fly tool and the, this is a hack and all in needle. You actually tie the bottleneck tube and hold it. What I do is, it's very simple to do. I put the needle through, this, put the neck the bottleneck tube on. Now this area here is where the sleeves to sit. Now it goes so it only goes so far, it'll not go any further than that. Then what I do is loosen the HMH tube fly tool, just put onto the area where the sleeve is to be attached at this point here and then tighten up and as you can see that's because this is getting pulled down as well it's holding the tube in place that's the biggest complaint I get uh, people ask me about holding the bottleneck tube and that's the best and easiest way I've found to do it and it actually works with everything I do uh, it's very easy as you can see and nice and tight that's what you need needs to be nice and tight. Now, to tie the the D-monkey, what I do is simply start front of the tube, put down probably around about four millimetres of thread, a base of thread, and then, now I can, you can now use black, in this case here as you can see I've used black bristle, big bristle at the end, but sometimes Yellow works extremely well, so so you get the pig bristle, and it's dyed yellow. Lengthwise, really, for a tube this size, this here is three quarter inch, you want a good length in the bristle. I mean, it's probably like three times the length, easy. Just tied over the back, with the curve coming over up and away from the tube. Just simply tie it on. I've got three or four turns to secure. At this point, what I do is I trim away Throw away the waste. Now it pays you to secure these in. Get some varnish or some super glue, and the super glue I'm using, just on the top and secure it down. This will never pull out then. And then take the thread turns slightly further up. So overall we're looking probably looking at about five millimetre of thread base there. You don't actually put a body on this fly, it's all wing. So you've got the stiff fibre in this case here, the pig bristle. Then what I like to do is get some, this is dyed black bucktail, again it's the next, it's a, if you're going by the stiffness, the pig bristle is the stiffest, the next would be the bucktail fibres, just line up the points, but want the full length of the pig bristle, you want it slightly less, tie it on the top, nice and tight. Just flatten it with your finger and tie it down. Turn away the excess. Just be careful that I just pull some out there, but okay, just tie it down. Again, before you do anything else, tidy up. Now at this point I like to add in a bit of flash. And we add in two strands of the mirror flash, the crystal here. I want a couple of strands each side, so I've got two full lengths. In this case I want the full length of the big bristle. So add two on my side, run the thread down, fold the other two fibres back to the far side, keeping the hold, bring it to the length you want and trim. And that there. That's how I tie in the flash, never pull out. Now. I'm going on to the softer here. Now the next would be, well I'm going to use two hairs actually, three hairs all together, but I've got some Arctic Fox for the, the throat, dyed a nice bright yellow. For the taper off I'm going to use an Arctic Fox dyed black, and for the slightly longer hair, to give it more than monkey like, I'm going to use some black goat, dyed black goat. Just gives it a slight taper, that's all you're looking for in the fly. Now the first thing I would do is put on the throat, put tie in the throat. And all I do here is pull out a few fibres. This is here is going to be your form, like the hackle, if you want to put it throat of the fly. All I do is cut it off, slightly twist 
pull out the excess fluff from the bottom. Just to twist the fluff you've got, you can use a small comb, brush these out, and that cleans it up for you. The length is the length of the tube, is the throat length. Now you want to bring your thread slightly up. Now all I do is easy, just to roll the fibre, encourage the fox, the yellow fox, all the way around. I have to go completely around, but at least in the throat area, and then tighten up a few thumbs. Just at this point, check to see that it's sitting the way you like. Just all the way around, have a look. If you're happy with that, and then trim away the waist. All the way around. Just take your time. Just to tidy up. Once you've done that, again, tie it down, tidy up. It's nice and easy. Now, I'm going to put the goat on just now. The reason being, if you put the goat, the Arctic Fox dye black going on. If I put that on first and then the goat, what will happen? It will flatten it down. I don't want that, so I'd rather put it on before, because it's quite strong here. And it will flatten the wing a bit. So to take away not a lot, you don't need a lot of material, it's a few fibres. Take away the fluff at the bottom. Like what I like to do is line it up, just line up the tips. Best you can. Take away the excess. Length. You can go slightly longer than the bristle. But not much longer than that. If you want it longer, that's entirely up to you. Whereas you can make them really long, and the D monkey does, can have a long wing. But for this style, I'm quite happy just slightly by the big bristle. Tie it on the top. Now, two or three turns to secure. Now, what I like to do is rub my nail on top, just bringing the fibre slightly around, and then tighten up. See how it's sitting. Now, goats are very hard here. Take your time with it, pull it back. It doesn't compress the same as some, some hairs, I know it's, it's not hollow. Now what I like to do is make sure it's not going to pull out. Tiny bit of varnish, in this case super glue. And then secure it down. Doing this your fly will last much longer. It's not cheating, it's common sense. Just take your time and then tie it down form your head. Then get your arctic fox. Just take out a good pinch and then simply again I'll run it through a comb or something, just brush it out, just take away all the tangled fur at the bottom. This is going to be slightly shorter than the goat. It's like it's tapers away. That length there. It's ideal. Tie it down Again, trim it, put it up. Anything going forward to the end of the tube, trim it away. Rub it with your nail, and then again, bind it down nice and tight. Anything that you might go forward again, just make sure it's pulled back. And then you need two jungle croc eyes. In this case, it can be natural or dye gel. In this case it's dyed, actually yellow. I've got two the same length, pull back the fibres that I don't need. I'm going to tie in the area where it's the black area. Just offer it up to the sides, just bring your finger and thumb in and fold them down. Do a loose turn all the way around, two or three times just to see how they're going to sit. At this point I would check, just have a look all the way around. Tidy up if you feel you've pulled some hair back like I have there, just pull it back. Once you're happy, take it down. You can fold these back if you wish, which I like to do. Tuck them back, never pull out. Got to break off then. And then tidy up. Just take your time. Just work your thread all the way back up. You can pull these back, just to see what they're like. 
Čem nový? Sharp saddles, we need just to tidy up. And then form your head using the thread, covering up. Any bits of fibre that's showing through. Once you've done that, your foot finishing tool. You can find it in your desk. And then what finish. One, two, three, four is enough. Tighten up. Come your thread. And there you are. Now we have to do, or what I like to do, if it's get some super glue again. Just touch it very lightly. You don't want it on the material at all. All the way around. Once that sets, it's really hard. It sets very quickly. In about five minutes, you'll be able to varnish that head again. Just a normal varnish, and that seals it up. And there you are. And that's your, your piglet. Here's the one tied earlier on, finished. All I've done is put the sleeve on, pushed it onto the area where I've actually caught it onto the actual HMH2 tool. And then, obviously, that holds your treble straight. As you can see, it makes a nice fly. You can have other variations. This is one of the first ones ever tied. And uh, there's a junction shrimp. Which works extremely well. That fly tain 10 fish in one day. So it made it very popular, that, especially that week. And so on. And it's been popular since. Anyway. That's your D-Monkey. Mm -hmm.